Hi, my name is Adam Avrila and I would like to welcome you back. This month, March, we are going to push Easter early a little bit and turn this beautiful bouquet into our fabulous little Easter bunny. So before we get started, I know you're thinking, Adam has lost his mind. He doesn't realize that we are a month early for Easter. There is a reason to my madness. Easter is so early into April, and I wanna make sure that you guys have plenty of time to do this with your kids or yourself. So that's why we're pushing the Easter design to March. And let's face it, you probably already have Easter decor in your house anyway, so what's not one more thing, right? So what we're gonna need for this project is two and a half inch styrofoam ball, a regular old hanger from the dry cleaners, wire hanger, whichever. This is gonna be for the ears. I am using a five inch cylinder base. You could use a two liter bottle cut down, a gallon of milk cut down. You could use a lot of other options. So, but for the purpose of today, we're gonna to use a five inch cylinder, double stick tape. This is gonna be our friend. And then a yarn, I chose a yarn that's a little bit thicker than normal because it takes up more space to be quite honest. And I love the texture of it. And choose a yarn that matches the bouquet so it all blends together. And this month's bouquet is orange and yellow so this orange and white yarn is going to be perfect. All right, let's get started with the body of the design. I'm just gonna take a piece of tape, put it at the top. You do not need to go all the way around. And I'm gonna do another one at the bottom and the rear. So you have the top and the rear. It's just gonna keep it in place. Take a piece of your yarn. Let me just slide this over. Pull out plenty of it, you're gonna need it. Leave some excess in the top so you can tie it off. And all you're gonna do is wrap this around. Keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. And this is a great thing for the kids to do. You know, we love to do kid activities, get them involved in flowers and care. And you're gonna wrap it all the way around, making sure you hit that tape spot until you get to the top, and then it'll look like that. And you see, I tied it off at the top. So this is what we want it to end up looking like. Completely wrapped up. This is gonna be the body of the design. So let's put this down here. Next, we're going to do the tail. So take a piece of your double-sided tape, and I wrap this all the way around until it touches itself, went all the way around. The reason I do that is because the tape oftentimes will come off the styrofoam, so by adding it and touching it to itself, it locks it into place. It's the same concept. Have a piece so you can tie it off, and then just wrap it all the way around and keep going. And this is going to be the tail of the design. And so wrap it up until it ends up looking like this. And you can see I tied it off there, cut it short. So this will be the tail of the design. Next, we have the ears. The ears you could do with Every way you want to be quite honest. The way I do it is I flatten that out so it's straight up and then just twist these up and you can make them as wide as you want. You could form them however you want the ears to be. That looks pretty cute, right? And what you're gonna do is take a piece of the tape, the double-sided tape. Doesn't have to be super neat, guys, because the yarn is gonna pull it into itself. I'm just putting it like that. Do the same thing on the other side. This is literally just there to prevent the yarn from keep sliding up and down on the wire. 
And I will tell you the reason I know this works is because I've done this. And the first time I did it, the yarn kept sliding and I went through a whole lot of yarn. And I'm like, why am I not using tape to hold it in place? So that's why we're using tape on the inside of the armature for the ears. Start at the bottom, work your way up. And do you see how it's grabbing hold of that tape? It's not sliding. And you are just going to do this all the way around both sides. And when you get to this, I come down, work your way up, tape this side off and tie it off at the bottom. And then you get a set of cute little bunny ears like that. So the skeleton turns into this. Super cute, right? Your kids are gonna love doing this. So let's get rid of that. So now we have made the body, the ears, and the tail. They're gonna be so cute, you're gonna love this. All right, that is our components. Let's talk about the inside of the base. We're going to take a third brick of floral foam, wet floral foam. You can get this in the stores. They usually have the bricks and you can just pick one up from there. You can get them online, but make sure you get the wet floral foam. And what we're gonna do is take a vessel, empty vessel, water, I've already mixed and dissolved the nutrient packet. Fill up your vessel first. You do not want to pour water over the top of the foam. You want this just to float down. The reason being is because if you put water on the top, water won't be able to get into the foam. So it really has to just take itself down and as you can see, it, it really does absorb quickly. So make sure you do that. And then we're gonna put that, once it's absorbed, right into the body of the design. And that's gonna give us our structure for our floral design. As you can see, we're dismantling the bouquet. It was a beautiful bouquet, but this is the best way for us to see what's inside of it. So when we start designing, we know exactly what we have going on. So we have our beautiful design. Such beautiful flowers, right? Let's start with sunflowers. So we're gonna cut them short and we're gonna do a triangle all the way around. And I know you don't do this at home, but I do it here. It makes it life easier. So we have our triangle of sunflowers. Next, we're gonna take our next biggest flower. All right, so if your lilies don't come in open, it takes sometimes a couple of days from the open, but they will open. What you have to imagine is that the space, you have to give it enough space to open in the design. So I'm gonna cut off two of these blooms. And the big one that I know is going to be the, the huge one, I'm gonna put it right out there. And so when it opens, it's gonna take up all of the space and I'm gonna fill in the rest of the triangle with these blooms. So what's gonna happen in a day, once it's at your house, is all these lilies are gonna open up, all the sunflowers are open, absolutely stunning. Next, let's take our Gerbera daisies, orange. And I'm just gonna put in between the sunflowers on both sides. We don't need to keep the straw on, you can take the straw off. And then to balance off the orange, we have the Ostromeria. So cut that a little bit shorter, and let's put that opposite of the Gerber daisies. Do you see how the color then balances? You got the yellows, you got the oranges balanced. Everything looks naturally balanced. And Ostromeria is another one of those flowers like your lilies that may not be open when you get it, but it will open up beautifully, and it's one of the most long-lasting flowers I know of. We have one little dianthus. We're gonna put this right in the center. The reason we're gonna put that in the center is because next we're going to take our ruscus. We're gonna cut three insertions down. So we have three pieces. And these are going to go around the edge of the design. So in design, it's all about balance is one of our rules that we follow. 
and color balance. So we have the yellow going around, we have the orange balance. Now we have the green coming from here all the way up to the top. And so it's visually appealing. Okay. Our yellow cushions, they come in very different varieties. I don't know what variety you got, but if you have one that has longer laterals, laterals are these little side flowers like this, let's cut some of them off so we could put them in by themselves. And these are just gonna be stunk up. These are just gonna be sunk down a little bit to bring your eye into the design. It fills it in. These little guys will continue to open up as well. I think that's one of the best things. If you photograph your arrangement every day at the same time, you will see the progression of the flowers. And I think it's absolutely a beautiful moment. And let's do another one. And these are gonna go all the way around. And I think that's good. Our last piece is our spray stock. So these always have longer laterals, so let's cut these off because I want something to come up out of it a little bit. We want to have some kind of drama coming out. So let's go ahead and put these where they just kind of dance up above the flowers. Imagine being in a garden, nothing grows at the same. There's always something that dances up above. So let's have our stock dance above the rest of the flowers. I mean, that's a pretty arrangement as it is, isn't it? Super cute, but let's finish it, let's finish it. Where did I put it? Oh, here. So the ears and the tail. The ears, again, you can shape whatever way you want. And these are gonna go right up front. And then the tail, use one of your other stems, one of our stronger stems like this Ruscus here, and just insert it into the back of the styrofoam. That's gonna hold it in place in the design. And this will go right in the back. That's cute. I didn't see it from the front. What do you guys think? Super cute, right? What a great thing to do with your kids or even at your house. Give it away as a gift. It's our take on the abstract Easter bunny for your Easter coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this design. I love spending time with you guys. The comments you've been getting, I really appreciate them. I love all the enthusiasm out there and all the happy comments. So keep enjoying our videos, like and subscribe, and we will see you next month.